Stay black in America. Don't leave. Don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. America is the number one greatest economy in the world, and black folks living in America are the 15th greatest economy in the world. Today is going to be my uh, my 41st sermon. Uh, I'm going to talk about the great um, the great Marcus Lamb, um, the Daystar founder, born in October 1957, passed away November the 30th. 2021 at the age of 64. He achieved so many great things being a Christian broadcaster, always loving Israel, always doing as much as he can for Israel. He's a, he lived a great man. He passed away a great man. And we know we don't rest in peace. You know, he's busy up there in heaven, man, because, uh, you know, the spirit is, uh, is immortal. So we know he's definitely busy. It's not about resting in peace, man. He's always been busy. Always a handsome, well-groomed, dapper-dressed individual. Always um, always espousing Christianity, the love of Jesus Christ. Always always espousing and bless Israel. You know, for God loves Israel so. He always been the head not to tell. You know, owning uh, the Daystar uh, Network, not being in debt. Matter of fact, lending money out. Um, you mentioned lending out $20 million to a, a particular church, didn't name who the church was. But just amazing in the fact that he was doing that. And I think to myself now, being being 63, knocking on 64's door, I haven't taken any COVID-19 shot either. I, I, I uh, just don't believe in just giving somebody, you know, an opportunity to stick something in my body and not truly know whether it'll help me or not. You know, a shot in the dark. I rather put my faith in Jesus Christ. That's what I continue to do. And um, I think when I contracted that COVID back in uh, 2020, being 2022 now, I was laying in that bed, man. I felt so weak and tired and drained and taking baby breaths. Just prayed to God and went off to sleep. I don't know whether I would wake up or not. Woke up, and woke up, managed to get through it. I mean, I might have been down for like four, four days maybe. I woke up and I was just... Um, I was doing what I normally do. I can't say it was COVID-19 because I wasn't going to the hospital to get no no diagnosis because uh, I didn't want to be around anybody that had that crap or, or around some place where they could shoot me with something whether I wanted them to or not. Or around some place wasn't going to give me any care. I'd rather something happened to me, happened to me in my, in my home. So, uh, you know, lay there recovering from it. Never had nothing like that before. And I felt so weak and tired and, and, and just done with, man. It's just crazy. But, uh, you know, I like to say two things about everybody else who's going through something out there in the world. I look at Second Chronicles 15 and 7. It says, be, it, be as for you, be strong, and do not give up, for your works will be rewarded. And 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty eight. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast and immovable, always abiding in the works of the Lord, knowing that the Lord... Your labor is not in vain. Notice your labor is not in vain. You know, Marcus Lamb, man, he was a, uh, he did his thing, praising God and trusting in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and, and building up Israel as much as he can his entire life. Never gave up the chase. He was ahead not to tell truly. So uh, my thing is that uh, we all going to go through something in life, whether big or small, but point of the man, you know, Wants to die, and so uh, we know he's gone in the in the flesh, but he's alive in the spirit. I pray his family is able to uh, recover from such a devastating loss. I mean, uh, having such a such a um, you know charismatic father as that. Uh, his I think two daughters and a son and his wife, you know, grandchildren probably. I guess I, I don't know, but uh, I used to enjoy watching them on Daystar. And so uh, all I can say, man, is a uh, Stay black in America. Don't leave, don't go anywhere. Don't let anybody tell you that you turn your back on Israel or Israel's time is over. Israel's time is always present, always now. Still the apple of God's eye. So uh, trust in your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, always have an eye for Israel. Always have a heart for Israel. If you can do anything for them, do anything for them. We know economic times are hard. You know, you know God will bless you. So uh, black folks love one another out there. 
read that Bible, trust in your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, repent of your sins, heaven will be your home. God's going to bless you and lead you along the way, what you should do, what you shouldn't do, lead you, the church you should go to, the churches you should stay away from, the Bible studies you should be, the Bible studies you shouldn't be at, people you should be around, the people you shouldn't be around. You're going to make that circle of yours nice and strong because he's going he to make your make path straight. So uh, trust in your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins because Jesus Christ died for our sins. He died for the sins of the world. Nobody can get to heaven through by, but, by, but by Jesus Christ. The only way, man. only way to get to heaven. God ordained it that way. His son and came, died, and, sp and shed his blood for the entire world. So that whoever accepts Jesus Christ as the Lord and the Savior, repent of his sins, know that he's the son of God, you go into heaven. Mighty, weak, small, whatever, you go into heaven. So uh, that's all I got to say to the 41st sermon. I'm not feeling that good right now, but hopefully I'll feel better. As this week goes on, God bless. Till next time, subscribe to my channel.